tinted sunscreens and mineral tinted sunscreens in particular is your way to finally start using sunscreens in your beauty routine and actually loving them. Today I'm going to list my favorite tinted sunscreens and all of them are going to be suitable for sensitive skin as well as for all of the other skin types. Let's go! Hello everyone, this is your friend Anna and if you're new here on this channel we talk about beauty style and all of the cozy things and the main purpose of my videos is for you to feel good about yourself and also maybe even feel a little bit better about your life as well. And today we're going to talk about sunscreens. Sunscreens is an essential part of your skincare routine if you want to keep your skin healthy. This is not about beauty today, it is about your skin health. And I wasn't really in a good place with sunscreens for a long time. I didn't feel like I can use a sunscreen because I had bad rosacea. And when I had my rosacea, I felt that if I use too many products at the same time, I'm going to break out. Once I got in a better place with rosacea, now I feel like my skin is clear from all of those rosacea break, break, breakouts. And I am so, so happy. I am in a way better place with sunscreens and I have learned which ones are the best for me and I cannot wait to share them with you. The reason why I'm a fan of tinted sunscreens is because I'm using only mineral sunscreens. If you didn't know, all of the sunscreens are divided into mineral and chemical depending on the active ingredients they include. And if you have sensitive skin and especially rosacea skin, it is better for you to use only mineral sunscreens. That's why I stick to them. And mineral sunscreens, which are not tinted, they leave a white cast on your face. I have one and I use it when I'm not going to apply any makeup and when I really don't care about that white cast on my face. But the white cast is there and there is no way not to have that white cast with a mineral sunscreen. And the tinted mineral sunscreen is the way for you not to have the white cast on your face but still be using mineral sunscreen which is good for your skin. I'm going to review four tinted mineral sunscreens and the first one is going to be by Avine. It is called High Protection Tinted Compact Sunscreen for Intolerant Skin. Uh, SPF 50. This is a compact uh, sunscreen that has a packaging that looks like a compact powder. The sunscreen has a creamy consistency. It really reminds me of creamy bronzers that are very popular right now. The shade that I have is a shade beige. This sunscreen it doesn't feel long lasting. I feel like it starts melting on my face quite fast and it's, it's not super easy to apply it either way with your fingers or with a makeup brush or with whatever I feel like it's quite hard to spread it around on your face and I feel like I'm not getting the coverage which is needed in order to get uh, SPF 50 and generally with tinted sunscreens if you want to really achieve SPF 50 you really need to apply quite a lot that's why I understand that uh, when I apply my tinted sunscreens, I don't have that huge of a layer of a sunscreen on my face to get to SPF 50. But I understand that I am probably getting to SPF 30 and that is not bad. I would say it's better than nothing because before these sunscreens, I didn't use any sunscreen at all. So I'm coming from zero to what I have right now and that is already a great step forward. You can have a full makeup look that you are used to using just a tinted sunscreen. You don't need to apply a foundation over the tinted sunscreen. The coverage of all of these tinted sunscreens is good enough for you to have even complexion and not to feel like you need any foundation on top. You can apply some concealer underneath your eyes or to cover some of the little imperfections that you think that you have, but generally you're going to be good to go with just tinted sunscreen. And that was everything that I wanted to say about this product. The cost of this product is about 19 euro here in Europe. And I think that is not expensive, but the size is, is too small. There are 10 grams inside of 
this packaging. Moving on to the next product and here we have SkinCeuticals Mineral Radiance UV Defense Sunscreen Broad Spectrum SPF 50 Even Skin Tone 100% Mineral Filters Tinted Fluid. Here inside of the, bo the bottle you have 50 milliliters and this product is quite pricey. The price of this product is about 55 euro but I would say it lasts for quite a long time, this product. This product feels like the lightest of all of the ones that I'm going to show you today. It has the lightest coverage and it, as they say, it's a tinted fluid. So it's, it's really like liquid. I think also it is the lightest shade of all of the ones that I have. They don't have a division into shades in, in, this, um, in this tinted sunscreen, you, so you have just one shade. The worst thing about this one is I feel like it's quite drying. I don't use it every single day because I feel like after I use it every single day, my skin gets dry because of this product. And even if I layer it on top of really like heavy moisturizer, I still don't feel comfortable. So I use it from time to time. This is not my favorite product but it is light. If you want something light, maybe this one could be for you. With its sheer finish, I think it could be a great choice if you want to create a no makeup makeup look, but still use a tinted mineral sunscreen. And the next product that I have is, I think, my favorite tinted sunscreen. This is by the brand SVR Laboratory Dermatologique. And I didn't know about this brand before I purchased this sunscreen and I'm now in love with it. I think it has only one shade. I have the one for dry skin, but also they have for normal oily skin. The color is not very light, but I would say it's not as dark as the one from Avina. The coverage is very good. It's not a light coverage, definitely, but I feel like it's easy to layer it and it's easy to achieve high high level of SPF. By the way, this is SPF 50 as well, very high protection as they say. Even though it has high coverage, I still feel bare with this one. I feel like it's no makeup makeup as well. I feel beautiful. I feel like I love my skin tone with this one. I feel protected. I can't say enough good things about this product. I fell in love with it when I still had my rosacea in a bad place and I had my breakout and it made me feel confident about my breakouts with the rosacea and it also helped me cure my rosacea because when you have rosacea, it is really bad for you to be exposed to a lot of sun and to have sunburns and things like this. So you really need to protect your sensitive rosacea skin and you really need sunscreen. So that was my step to healthier and better skin and I love it. This is my second packaging of this product. It, it, it's, it lasts you for a long time because it, it's quite concentrated. One last thing that I wanted to say about SVR tinted sunscreen is that it has niacinamide in its ingredients list and niacinamide is really good for your skin. If you didn't know, niacinamide is an active ingredient that helps to improve your skin tone and it tightens your skin, it mi minimizes the size of your pores and it's just full of goodness for your skin. And the price of this product here in Europe is about 20 euro. And the last product that I want to show you is a CC cream by Chanel. And this is also a mineral sunscreen. It has SPF 50. And the shade that I have is a shade 30 beige. Before this one, I used to have shade 40 and that one was suitable for my skin tone as well. They have lots of shades in Chanel. It feels like a beautiful, luxurious foundation. I use it when I feel like I want some extra glam, when I'm feeling like fancy and I want to make a full beautiful like makeup look for an evening out or uh, some special occasions. The price of a CC cream by Chanel is 73 euro and inside of the bottle you have 30 milliliters of the product. And uh, Chanel says that uh, this product has five superpowers and I will comment on each of them. The first one is that it unifies. Blemishes such as dark spots, redness and pores are reduced by 39%. I can confirm that uh, the redness and pores look better after you apply this cream. Then it is supposed to moisturize your skin. Skin is instantly supple and comfortable, continuously moisturized for 12 hours. 
I haven't worn this one for 12 hours but I can confirm that your skin definitely feels moisturized when you use this product and I don't have to use a moisturizer before applying it and my skin still feels amazing. Then corrects. After one month of application, signs of aging are corrected, wrinkles and fine lines are reduced by 20%. This is absolutely not true for me. This product does not correct your fine lines. It, it, it has absolutely nothing to do with uh, um, fighting your signs of aging. It is like a correction tool. This is a sunscreen. This is not an active product in order to fight your signs of aging. Then uh, protects. Upon application, skin is well protected from environmental aggressors and UVA and UVB rays SPF 50. Yes, this is true. It definitely protects from uh, the sun and I worn it to the beach and I didn't tan at all with this one on my face. Boosts glow. Day after day, skin regains its natural ability to reflect light, revealing boosted radiance by 13%. I don't think that this product really makes your skin more glowing and healthier, but I can say that your skin definitely looks really glowy when you apply this product on your skin. And that is everything that I wanted to tell you about CC Cream by Chanel. I love all of the four products that I've shown you today. Some of them I love more like SVR, some of them I love less as uh, SkinCeuticals, but all of them are good and all of them is something worth trying in your skincare routine. If you have any questions about these products, please write them in the comments below. I will be very happy to answer you. And please subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet and I will see you very soon. Bye.